Hey guys, welcome back to Bro and Sis Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to calculate the volume of a triangular prism. So a triangular prism is a three-dimensional shape and volume is just when we find out how much space a three-dimensional shape occupies. So here, this is an example of a triangular prism. So if we go ahead and take a look at the formula for calculating the tri uh, volume of a triangular prism, it says volume is equal to base times height divided by 2 and then multiplied by the length of the prism. Well, if we just focus on base times height divided by 2, this reminds us of the formula for finding the area of a triangle. And yes, in this case, when we're finding the volume of a triangular prism, the first step is to find the area of the triangle and then multiply by the length to get the volume. So let's say, first let's go ahead and get our, um, our measurements. So let's say the base of the triangle, which is over here, is equal to four inches. So we'll write four inches. And then the height, remember, now we mentioned this in our video for calculating the area of a triangle, that these lines over here, these sides are not the height, okay? These are just, are referred to as the legs of the triangle. These are not the height because the height has to be straight down. So going from here down, it has to make a 90 degree angle. And when it makes a 90 degree angle, that is the height. So in this case, our height is going down and let's say it's about five inches. So we are, have our base and our height, and now we need to find the length, okay? So let's say that the length in this case is nine inches. So now that we have all our measurements, let's go ahead and plug it into our formula. So now we get volume is equal to base times height. So it's going to be 5 times 4 divided by 2. And then we still have to multiply it by the, le uh, the length, which is 9. So if we go ahead and do this, we get volume is equal to 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 10, and we have to keep the unit, which is inches, and then multiplied by 9 inches, we get volume is equal to 90 inches. And now remember, in volume, always whenever you get your answer, the units need to be cubed. Now the reason behind that is because, remember, each of these, when we multiply 10 and 9, we got 90. Now, each of these inches is worth a power. Now, here the thing is, remember when we had to first calculate the area of the triangle? Remember, in area, the unit is going to be squared. So here, we got the area of 10, right? Because 5 times 4 is 20 divided by 2 is 10. So this inches is actually to the power of 2. So 10 inches to the power of 2 times 9 inches to the power of 1. So remember, we just had to multiply 10 and 9 to get 90, and now we have to multiply inches to the power of 2 times inches to the power of 1. And remember, if the base is the same, we can add the powers together. So 2 plus 1 is 3, so inches to the power of 3. That is why whenever we do volume, the unit, whichever unit you're using, could be inches, centimeters, meters, millimeters, so forth, they have to be cubed. So our volume for this triangular prism is equal to 90 inches cubed. And so that's all there is to this topic, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!